Now, my experience of doing this was after I came back from that and I, was, uh, I, I changed the structure of my workshop and I started actually getting people not only to identify their values but also to start treating the emotional roots where they learned those values and it was a much different workshop. And one day I'm actually, um, I'm at home and I was just feeling a little bit off. And I'm like, oh, what am I going to do? And I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll do my workshop. Like, on myself. <laughs> so, so, I, so I go into, um, that was when I had a home office. And so I went into the office and I just, um, I just sat down and I, and, and I was particularly, I was at the values part looking at what's most important to me. And then I actually asked myself the question, where did I learn? Like, love was my number one. It's been my number one for years. And then I asked myself, where did I learn that love is most important? And I, I came up with all these uh, experiences where I wasn't feeling loved, particularly by my dad. I mean, guys often have this thing with their father um, where they don't feel uh, that they were fathered in the correct way. We have all kinds of judgments about that. And so I had all these bad feelings about my dad, which is pretty hard to, to you know, work out. And... Um, I started tapping on those and the reality was that like within a few minutes I started seeing my experiences differently, I started thinking differently about my dad, I started um, coming up with different ideas about the relationship that we had, I started thinking well yeah he wasn't all that bad, I actually understood his behaviour in the context of his past where his dad uh, walked out when he was about 10 years old. Um, and he was left with his, uh, his mother who actually was you know, very, very strict and uh, in fact he used to get the cane every day at school because uh, she'd make him and his brother polish the floor. So him and his brother actually went and hit the streets and ended up in uh, boys' homes and all kinds of things and if it wasn't for the Salvation Army, um, I don't know what would have happened to him. They basically became his family and he really was saved through them. So I have a really good feeling about the Salvation Army because of that. Um, so when I'm doing my tapping, now I'm seeing his behaviour in the context of where he's coming from and I'm feeling so grateful, instead of angry at him, I'm feeling so grateful for the fact that he was actually able to bring up a family and hold that family together, even though it was hard for him to be emotional in the ways that I wanted him to be emotional. By the way, I, I, I had love as my number one value before that, but I realised I wasn't actually that, that loving. And... I was needy. Oh, yeah. I tell people that I, you know, I tell my wife and kids that I love them every day. And I do. Because I, I grew up, as I said, a lot of the time feeling like I wasn't loved, even though I was loved. And I, and I know that now. Feel it. But I didn't feel it all the time. Why? Because I needed to hear it. Mm. Now, in those days, did guys actually say to their kids that they loved them? That wasn't the thing. You go out and you work and you provide for them and you work harder and you provide more and all that kind of stuff and that's what people did in those days. And here I am thinking, okay, I need to hear that I'm loved. So, of course, I want to tell my wife and kids that they're loved and so I tell them every day and I tell them like I really mean it. Do you think my wife cares about that? <laughs> no, she says, talk's cheap, why don't you buy me something? You know? <laughs> don't tell me you love me, show me. <laughs> She doesn't really, I just made that up. But she does want to be shown, not told. And for me, being told is important. But for her, that doesn't mean as much. So I'm caught up in this loop where I'm trying to do what I want to her and express my love. And I could tell her I love her every day for the rest of my life and have her leave me and say, you don't really care about me because you never... It, not buy me things, she actually... It's do things for me which demonstrate that you love me, which is much more than just talk, okay? So, um, yeah, so number one, I realised that. And I was so needy. So I would say, I love you, but then I need to hear it back. And then if you don't say it back, then I don't feel loved. And then, you know, of course, if you're, if you're like poor old Louise, she's, she's like, okay, I love you, you know? It's like, well, now you didn't say it right. <laughs> So you've got to say it, then you've got to say it right, and oh man, it's so difficult. Especially if that isn't your own preferred style. And um, 
So I started, you know, I realized some of this I knew. I, 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 I must say, I learned from, one of the things I learned from NLP is the visual auditory kinesthetic um, model. Some people have a visual preference, they like, pay more attention to what they see. Some people have an auditory preference, they pay more attention to what they hear, and they have, some people have a feeling kinesthetic preference. So I'd, I'd learned that, um, you know, we had different preferences. But by doing my own tapping, I actually felt different. And um, a few days after this, just happened to be my 42nd birthday. And, um, and I'm lying in bed, and Louise is there, and all the kids come in. And they've made me this beautiful uh, photo book. Louise was doing a lot of photo scrapbooking stuff at the time, and, and they've made this beautiful photo book with all photos of the family and all these beautiful um, uh, you know, quotations in them. And there's all funny uh, captions next to the pictures. And my eldest son has stayed up the night before late, you know, making all the funny captions and getting the fonts right for on the computer. Louise has put it together. Uh, Olivia is standing next to the bed saying, we need to get Dad breakfast in bed. And Callum is jumping on top of me saying, I love my daddy, I love my daddy. Mm -hmm. And I got hit with this incredible feeling of, I can't even describe it. It was like I just got filled up to the brim and I was just overflowing. I couldn't even speak. I, 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 tears were coming out of my eyes. I was feeling so much love. And I realized in an instant, all that love was there all the time. <laughs> I was like, this has always been here. And yet I couldn't experience, you know, I was like having to find it, having to, you've got to say it, you know, all that kind of stuff. And now I had, had the experience, it took me 45 minutes to stop crying. I wasn't blubbering, it was just the tears wouldn't stop coming out of my eyes. It was so beautiful, it was so nice. And, um, and I had the thought, I don't have to be an intergalactic megastar. I don't have to travel around the world and do many, I, I like to do that, but I don't have to. Everything I want is right here. And it was always there. And then I had the realization that everything we all want is already here. And it's just the blocks that stop us from doing it. And I knew that it was the tapping work that I'd done that had actually opened that up. By tapping on the negative stuff that actually I was still carrying with me that didn't allow me to feel that love, I couldn't experience it. Does that make sense? So I know the power of doing this because I've done this. And I'm still doing it. There are other values that I have more work to do on. Health is one of them. And I've always uh, wanted to be healthy and I've worked on being healthy. And I've realized recently that there's, um, there's a whole area of that that I do real well. And there's some other parts of it that maybe I need to do a bit more work on. So I'm doing a bit of work on that right now. And uh, maybe, you know, we'll do a bit more work on that during the weekend. Because when I teach it, I, I open up ideas for myself to work on it. But I want to help you in particular to experience, at the very least, some more of what you most value. And it isn't going to be go by getting more things. It's actually going to be by um, letting go of some things that are stopping you from having what you want.